Okay, so let's go over the vocabulary. The first word is live, as in to live. Live, to live means to be alive, to be in the process of being alive. Now be careful with live because it can also be pronounced in another way. You can pronounce this live, but that has a different meaning. If you say live, that is an adjective, right? So live here, this live is a verb, right? To live. I want to live a long time. But live, as an adjective, we can say it is a live concert, right? That means that people are playing. It's not recorded music. People are actually playing the music. You can see the people. It's live music, live concert. But live, okay? So be careful. Live live, okay? In this case, live. Live means to be alive. Next word is to grow. Things that live grow. They grow during their lives, right? They become bigger or taller over a period of time. You are growing right now, right? You can't see it, right? Grow, to grow usually means it takes a long time, right? It takes many months, maybe years, for you to notice a change as you grow. But some animals grow very quickly, right? Uh, like pets, dogs and cats, they grow very quickly. It's still hard to see. You don't see it right, happening right now. But, you know, over weeks or months, very quickly they change, they grow. They become bigger or taller. Our next word is to change. To change means to become different. That's a good picture, right? You've all seen an egg, right? Sometimes you eat eggs for breakfast, right? Well, those are not eggs that will become chickens, don't worry. <laughs> but they are, but a, an egg that is able to become a chicken will hatch after a while, right? The egg will change. It'll break open and a little chick will come out of it. That's a big change, right? To become different. You also change, right? When you were a baby, now you were a, a child or a teenager, you changed, right? And you will continue to change through your life. We all do. Okay. Reproduce. 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 Reproduce means to make more living things of the same kind. All living things are able to reproduce. That means that they can make more living things that look like them. Uh, when you get older, you might get married and have children. That means you will reproduce, right? When your dog gets older, it can meet another dog, become a parent, and they will have children, right? Plants, when they get older, they send out seeds or pollen and they will reproduce and more plants will grow. So to make more living things of the same kind, that's to reproduce. Next word is a sad word, die, to no longer be alive. Here we have a sad picture of a bird, probably an old bird who became too old and then died. All living things become old and die. It's part of life. The thing is, enjoy your life while you're alive, while you, while you are living, right? To enjoy your life and be good to other people. That's the important thing. Okay, our next word is move. To move. To move means to go from place A to place B, right? Something is at place A and it moves over to place B. Now here we have a picture of a snail. Snails are famous for moving very slowly. Somebody might say, oh, you move like a snail. It means you move very slowly. And probably not a good idea, especially if you're going to school. Okay, so actually we have a video of a snail moving. And you can see, I'll start the video here, you can see, okay, the snail is moving but it's taking a long time, right? Very slow. In the background, you saw the cars going by very quickly. 
Cars move fast. Be careful. Snails move really slow. This snail is very slow. Okay, we don't have time to watch him move. It would take a long time to see him move from one side to the other. We don't have time. Okay, so next we have breathe. Breathe. Okay, we have the e at the end. That's important. I will uh, explain uh, soon. Uh, but to breathe means to take air into the body. Actually, you take it into your lungs, right? And then you send it out again. All living things breathe. Now, animals and plants have different ways to breathe. But for animals, right, we breathe in the air. The air goes into our lungs. We take the oxygen out and it goes into our blood. And this gives us energy. We need the oxygen to live. So we breathe in the air. We don't need all of the air. Just a little part of it is oxygen. But we take that oxygen and we breathe out the breath, the air that we don't need or the, the gas that is coming out of our body. So it's important to think about breathe in, breathe out. So we can also say that. You breathe in and you breathe out. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And we do it all the time. We don't even think about it because it's a natural part of living. Now, I said it's important, the E at the end. Now, there's a very similar word. It's called, it's, it's spelled this way, and this is different. So be careful. Breath. Breathe is a verb. It's the action, right? I, I showed you. <sighs> That's to breathe. Breath is a noun. Okay, so be careful. Don't get those two words confused. We can say, take a breath. <sighs> that is a breath. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> that is one breath. Okay, so when you talk about a breath as a noun, it's no E and we pronounce it breath. But if you're talking about the action, that's a verb, we put an E on the end and we pronounce it breathe. Okay, so breath, breathe. Be careful, don't get them mixed up. Okay, good. Okay, next, we have a video. Now, fish can breathe. Think, how can fish breathe? They're underwater. Where do they get the air? Well, it's interesting because even in water, there is gas. Water is hydrogen and oxygen. And fish are designed to be able to get the gas, the oxygen that they need, through their gills, right? They don't breathe in through their mouth. They have gills on the side of their bodies and they are able to take in uh, the gas that they need. Now, if we can see, you know, we can see the little fish moving around. It's hard to see their gills. You can see their mouths moving, but they're not really breathing through their mouth. They're breathing through their gills. Let me write that for you. Gills. And I put S because a uh, fish have two gills on either side, right? And they're kind of their neck. And they kind of open up and close as they're swimming. And that's where the uh, water passes through and they can catch the air or the oxygen that they need through their gills. So fish obviously are much different than uh, mammals uh, because they breathe differently and they can breathe underwater. Uh, mammals can't breathe underwater. Whales and dolphins are mammals, but they have to come up and they have a hole on the back of their head that opens up and they take in the air and they breathe through that hole. So mammals and whales are not really fish, they're mammals, but true fish have gills. Okay, interesting. Next we have oxygen, and I've said that word before. Oxygen, oxygen, or oxygen. If you say it quickly, sounds like oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen is very important. Obviously, I just said when we breathe in, we need the oxygen in the air. The air around us, 
actually, uh, you know, we, uh, this is kind of maybe a bigger um, uh, lesson, nitrogen and oxygen. The air right now around me and around you uh, is 21%, only 21% oxygen. The rest, what is that? That's 79% nitrogen, right? So we don't need nitrogen. Our bodies don't um, use nitrogen. Nitrogen is, it's like nothing to our body. We don't react to nitrogen, but we do react with oxygen and we need oxygen to live. Oxygen goes into our blood. It helps us uh, do many of the, the functions that our cells need uh, to be able to, to do what they, they do. And there's so many different cells uh, that do have different tasks in our body and that's, that helps us to live. So oxygen is a gas, right? It's a gas that living things need. We need it, fish need it, uh, uh, many different living things need uh, oxygen. And mostly the air is 79% nitrogen, 21% oxygen. Yes, there are other gases, but they're very small. They're not really measurable uh, in any situation, any typical situation. Okay, that we, you know, in the outside. Okay, good. So oxygen is very important for us and most living things. Next, we have healthy. Healthy means to be strong and well. I hope you are healthy and your parents are very interested or uh, they're very worried, uh, hopefully not too worried, that you stay healthy and you should eat well, eat good things, eat vegetables, eat, uh, you know, uh, depending on, you know, uh, meat is good, vegetables of course are very important. Make sure you eat a balanced diet so to stay healthy. But that's not it. You also need to exercise. This boy is exercising because you need to give your muscles uh, the practice or the chance to grow strong. And you want to stay healthy. And not just eating and exercise, you also need sleep. So make sure you get enough sleep. Put your phone away. Don't play video games too long. Get enough sleep at night. All of these things help you remain healthy and you want to be healthy all your life. Of course, when you're young, you're very strong and healthy. As you get older, you have to work harder to be, to stay healthy. Okay, good. Okay. American textbook reading science book three. Lesson 1. Living and Non-Living Things Live To be alive Grow To become bigger or taller over a period of time Change To become different Reproduce. To make more living things of the same kind. Die. To no longer be alive. Move. To go from one place to another. Breathe. To take air into the body and send it out again. Oxygen. A gas that living things need. Healthy. Strong and well.